hey guys and welcome back to my channel so on today's video i just wanted to talk to y'all um i know i haven't really been posting the content that you all been looking for but as i mentioned before um my channel is all about inspiring motivating helping as many individuals as i possibly can and of course i love to do hair i love to take care of hair but also my main goal is to touch the heart i'm more about touching other people's lives because i feel when i inspire and i motivate others it makes me feel good even though i can help on other areas in life but when i can touch the heart and the mind of an individual I'm super excited at the end of the day and it's raining outside y'all but as you guys can tell from the title this is gonna be a complicated topic a rough topic to talk about I'm not really a fan or someone to talk to when it comes to this topic I'm never interested I try to stay away from this topic I really don't like talking about death I really don't like hearing about death it just troubles my heart it troubles my soul it just it just messes up my whole mood and a lot of us don't want to think about it especially when it comes to me when it comes to my son when it comes to my family my husband my siblings i don't want to think about that i don't want to think like what may if something happened to me what may happen to like my husband my son or if something happened to them how am i gonna take it like i don't like to think about stuff like that but i have to understand that this is a part of life once sin was invited into this earth the wages of sin is death so we have to understand that this is a way that many of us will have to go through and it's sad because like death just death just doesn't care how your mom feel how your sister feel your brother your dad it's just like if it comes after that individual it just comes after that individual like it, it doesn't matter like how you feel it's whenever it comes knocking at your door it is what it is and it's sad and it's scary and I have to always remind myself like not to be scared because God does not give us a spirit of fear but of power love a sound in mind and when I think upon these things it just like it just oh it just doesn't feel right like you could tell like when God created us he expected us to live for eternity but the fact that we sin and as I mentioned before, the wages of sin is death. And the fact that we invited sin is one of the main reasons why a lot of us have to die. It sucks. It, it really does suck. But it is what it is. But, um, I just want to pray real quick. So if you can, just close your eyes, bow your heads with me. Dear gracious, loving, heavenly Father, Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for your love, your protection, your grace, your mercy. Lord, thank you for being such an awesome God to us, Lord. All these things that are happening to us, Lord, is because of the love that you have for us, the protection that you have given us, the power that you have placed in us. Lord, help us to continue to seek your word, to live by your word, to live according to your son, Jesus Christ. Lord, you say in order for us to make it into the kingdom of heaven we must have a relationship with your son jesus christ and lord we do lord you know how hard is it you know how hard it is to live in this time lord with all these things that's happening all around us lord help us to not focus on the things that's happening around us but lord help us to focus on the things that are to come lord you promised us many good things but lord the devil in his schemes continue to try to distract us from your word. Lord, please continue to speak through us. Allow your Holy Spirit to speak to us, to give us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Lord, we have power. 
because of Jesus that lives in us. Lord, we can't do nothing on our own. But Lord, continue to watch us as individuals. Continue to bless us as individuals. And Lord, bless the family that has lost a loved one. Lord, it's such a devastating situation to be in. But Lord, continue to give us comfort, peace, a sound mind. Lord, hold our hands through these times of heartache, of pain. Lord, help us to continue to read your word and the promises that you have given us. Because, Lord, only through your word will we find peace. Will we find love? Will we find the things that we need in order to survive in this world, in order to make it in the world to come? Lord, please be with us. Guard us. Protect us. Deliver us. In your name, Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Earlier today, um, before I went to the funeral, um, I was watching Terrell, Terrell, um, I don't know if y'all used to watch like Nikita and Terrell, it used to be an old YouTube couple, I, I really used to love them together, but you know, things happen in life, people go their separate ways, it is what it is, but he was speaking on the topic of anxiety and depression, and Buddy was making a lot of sense, other than all that cursing he was saying, but he was making a lot of sense and it made me think like it's true people go through so much things in life and other people don't even recognize it and a lot of times we tend to get quiet or tend to want to be by ourselves especially when we're going through these things and some of us we could peep things out but we still don't say nothing these are the times where we should reach out pray fast talk to them because we never know exactly what that person is going through at that time so um he was talking and he was saying that a lot of things that he was doing you know just because it made him feel good at that point he was getting recognition but he wasn't really happy and many times we feel as if like we got to do so much to please the world and at the end of the day we're still unhappy and that's just the type of person that I was like I felt like I had to do so much I had to prove so much before I go but what am I really losing I'm really losing my soul because I'm trying to make sure that i'm seen i'm heard or i'm being recognized for the things that i'm doing but in reality none of that matters none of that matters you're here today gone tomorrow that same position that you was holding today there's somebody else that can hold that same position All right, sorry guys, my camera died, but by the grace of God, he's in control. And thank God I was blessed with two cameras. So yeah, done. Because a lot of us are going through depression, anxiety, heartaches, and we tend to want to close ourselves off because we don't want nobody really, we don't want no one really, because we really don't want nobody in our business for lack of word. We really don't want no one in our business. We want to make it seem as if like we're okay, we're smiling, but we just don't know. Like it's like deep inside we're hurt. And we're wondering like, man, does anybody see my hurt? Like I could see your hurt. Like I hear you, I hear what you're saying. I listen to you, but I feel like no one's really listening to me or I just feel like no one really understands me to want to listen to me. And many times we tend to find outlets that we think will help us, but they only help us for a period of time because we realize that somebody has recognized us. We realize that, wow, this is actually making me happy or wow, this is actually making me get noticed. But it's like, no matter what, it still doesn't really bring that joy and happiness that you need. And that's what the devil tends to do. Like he tends for us to want to do this thinking by doing this you're going to get happiness and joy thinking by saying this or you know whatever the case may be is going to bring some sort of happiness but in reality it's only temporary happiness it doesn't even last for a long time
Like we have to realize that our only happiness and joy and peace only comes from Jesus. And I know these things. Like I read the Bible daily. I go to church every week. And some people may be like you don't go to, you ain't got to go to church every week, but I choose to go to church every week because I like the fellowship with other family and friends. So I know the Bible. I do a lot of um, I do a lot of Bible studying. I talk with other people older than me, other individuals around my age group, and we talk about the Bible. So I know a lot. The, so I know a lot about the Bible. But even though I may know a lot about the Bible, at times I don't feel as if I live according to the Bible. I say I love Jesus. I say I trust Jesus. I say like, yeah, you know, Jesus is my all in all. But then I sometimes lean onto my own understanding and you know like the bible mentioned like do not lean on your own do not lean on your own understanding but as humans we tend to do that we tend to lean on our own understanding because we don't see what god is doing and when it comes to the unknown we want to know what's going to happen and the fact that we don't know what's going to happen we try to take matters in our own hand and try to figure things out on our own but when god said pray Pray about it. Like, leave it up to me and trust me. And most importantly, have patience. And one thing that a lot of us lack on is patience. We lack on patience because we think that God timing is like forever. And we know that God timing is perfect though. Like, it's perfect. But as humans, it's like we don't want to wait. If we had to wait, I don't want nothing to do with it. Like I want it now, like some microwave type thing. I want it now. I'm a, I want my miracle now. I want my happiness now. I want my joy now. I want my name and lights now. I want things to happen my way now. And the fact that it's not happening on our time now is very disappointing. And it just makes us wonder like, okay, so where are you? And then on top of that, you're wondering why things are not going your way. Then you see all these things that's happening around the world. And you're wondering like, what in the world is going on? Like things just doesn't seem to be going the way I expect it to be. I'm so blessed. And the fact that things are not going according to my way, I'm blessed. Like I have a roof over my head. I have the greatest husband. I have the most greatest son i had the greatest siblings mom dad stepdad i had the greatest friends i could call somebody like if i'm hurt or i feel sad i could call my sister i could call my true friends and like express my feelings and they could give me like godly advice in order for me to get to work i have transportation like god has blessed me to be able to live in a house. Not many people are fortunate to even live in a house. Not many people are fortunate to even have transportation. Not many people are fortunate to even have family members that they can even call family. And the fact that I'm blessed with this, <clears throat> I should be truly blessed. But because things are not going according to what I want done in my life, I think that life is hard. I think that life is not going the way that it should go. But my hands is hurting. I'm trying to hold this camera. That life is not going the way I planned it to go. But I'm I'm blessed. God has given me opportunities after opportunities to make it right. To live a more righteous life. And don't get me wrong. Sometimes I tend to fade away. And start living the life that. I think it's cool or I think it's fun but then like God always brings me back to reality yes sometimes it sucks but I'm grateful I rather him snap me back into reality than for me to lose my soul because sometimes I can go astray and I want this to happen right now because to be honest I could be my worst enemy and sometimes your worst enemy could be yourself. I tend to judge myself worse than anybody. I tend to put more pressure on myself. I tend to overthink. I used to think by thinking a lot was a good thing, but sometimes it's overwhelming because you have so much things in your mind. 
you don't even know how to express it sometimes you don't even know what to say sometimes you just don't even know what to do sometimes because it's so much going on in your mind and i have to like ask god like lord help me control my thoughts control my ways control my actions control who i am because leave it up to me i'm just gonna find myself like in a disaster so i always have to call upon god like lord control me control my thoughts like my thoughts are wavering my ways are wavering i need your help now like we have to get life right now tomorrow's not promised the next two or three hours is not promised but the fact that you have an opportunity to take a breath inhale and exhale is a blessing from god and it, it's it's sad like i i would always linger on things and don't get me wrong i still will linger on things but i have to ask god like lord please help me like i need your help more than ever like i need you to rescue me i need you to save me i need you to have full control over my life like I just can't live on my own behalf. I can't live on my own desires, on my own ways. I need you to intercede in my life. Let your Holy Spirit talk to me. Speak through me. Give me wisdom, knowledge, understanding. Give me power from the most high. I need a true connection a true relationship with jesus christ and that is the only way we will make it to heaven in order to meet the father we must go through jesus how can we go through jesus read his word live by his word have a relationship with him is it easy no because so much things are happening in the world the devil has found so many outlets to distract us from the word of God. And he has gotten me so many times. And I may sit here before y'all and talk to y'all normally. But my life's not perfect. But the fact that I know I want to make it right with Jesus. I know God can see that. And God hears my prayers. God knows how much I'm trying so hard to live a life that is pleasing unto him. Although I read his word, I pray to him daily, I fall short. And God has told me, I come to save people like me. I come to save people like you. I've come to save mankind. But let me in. Ask and it shall be given unto you. Seek and you shall find and knock and it shall be opened. And I dwell on these words every single day because I believe in the power of Jesus. Life is short. Life is so short. And the enemy don't care. Once he has you, his main motive is to kill, to destroy and to kill you. But as Christians and as followers, and if we say we love Jesus, we must do our very best to live according to his ways. And I'm not going to sit up here, as I mentioned before, it is, it's not easy. It's not. It's a struggle. It's a battle that we're going through every single day. We are in a battle. Someone hurts us. We want to be quick to attack, but we're not really arguing or fighting with the next individual we're fighting against principalities. There's so many things, rumors of wars, diseases, all these things that's happening around us, around the world. Come on. These are the end of times that we're living in. We're living in the end of times. And we have to live right, right now. The moral of this video is to share with you all that don't let fear get the best of you. Fear of death, fear of the unknown, fear of not having friends or fear of not being the best or fear of not being 
what you thought you were being. Leave it all to God. And my fear is, my number one fear is death. But then I had to think about it. What, what are you so afraid of, Belinda? Why are you so afraid of death? I'm afraid of death because I don't feel as if I'm living a life that is 100% satisfying to God. But sometimes we punish ourselves way more. Give it to God. Give your worries, your troubles, and your fears to God. I have so much that I want to express, but it, it won't all be done in one video. It's just not going to happen. John 14, verse 1 through 3. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. And that brought peace unto me. When I think of all the killing, all the heartaches, the pain, from Lisandro, Felix Guzman, Nia Wilson, Antoine Rose, Mark Harrell, and there's so many other people, so many other individuals. But when I think of these young people and how their life was just taken from them, it hurts me. But then I know if I live a life according to the word of God, and if they live the life according to the word of God, I know we will all see each other again. Families will be reunited. Friends will be reunited. We will all see each other again in a place where there's no more pain, no more sorrow, no more tears, none of that. Yes, it's frightening now, but we have to trust in God that he will take our worries, our anxieties, our depressions, our fears away because we trust in the Lord. No, we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. But we know that we can rely on God promises. Jesus would never lie to us. Although at times we may lie to each other and we may lie to ourselves, but Jesus will never lie to us. All the things that he has written, all the things that he has promised us, they will all come to pass. And I just want to say thank you, Jesus, for your word. Thank you, Jesus, for your love. Thank you, Jesus, for your compassion. Thank you, Jesus, for your grace. Thank you, Jesus, for the Holy Spirit. Thank you for your angels that camps around us, protect us. But most importantly, thank you, Jesus. Because of Jesus, we are able to live in eternity. I just want to say, keep up the faith. Don't give up. I had to tell myself that daily. Don't give up. Keep up the faith. Trust in God. No matter what situation you're facing, no matter the circumstances, trust in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Yes, we may fall short. Yes, we may do things that, you know, God may not be pleased of. Ask for forgiveness. Repent. Turn from your wicked ways. The fact that you are able to watch this video and breathe normally, in and out, inhale, exhale, is a blessing. Use that blessing to the best of your ability. Serve God. Serve God unconditionally. You're blessed. You are truly blessed. I'm blessed. I'm favored in the eyes of God. You are a blessing, not only unto him, but for your family, your friends, and you're just a blessing overall. You have to tell yourself sometimes, I'm a blessing. I'm a gift. I'm love. 
I'm praised by the utmost. He loves me. What do I have to worry? What do I have to fear? And when the devil wants to plant these seeds in your head, rebuke it in the name of Jesus. We're humans. We're not perfect. We're only perfect in Jesus. God loves you. I love you. Continue to pray for me as I continue to pray for you. Keep your head up. And when you fall short, fall on your knees. Ask for forgiveness and turn a new leaf. Every day that you get up is another opportunity, another blessing. Don't focus on the things that had happened. Focus on the things to come, which lies in Jesus Christ. Have faith. Be strong. I love you. And I will see you all in my next video.